So Rainbow Six Siege is one of those games that I've been trying to convince my Umu brethren to play with me for a little while now. It, this is not a game that, that I have an easy time playing by myself. I would much, much rather have uh, some backup when I play this game. So when Ubisoft hit me up, tapped me on the shoulder and said, hey, do you want to help us promote our year two content? I said, hey, you know what? What better excuse to get back into this game than that? If it wasn't already clear in that intro, this is a sponsored video by Ubisoft's Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. So because I didn't have help from my buddies, I reached out to some people on Twitter. Uh, and when I live streamed the game, I just had some viewers come in and help me out. They joined me. They were my Sherpa for the day. And they made it so much easier and uh, more enjoyable to play this game because it's rough when you don't know what you're doing it's rough and this is a game where you kind of need to know what you're doing that being said for me it was like if you if you accept the fact that you're probably going to fail a little bit before you succeed in this game that it, it does have kind of a steep learning curve the satisfaction that you get when you finally start to understand how to do well in this game or maybe not in my case do well but do better in this game it's extremely satisfying like a single headshot kill in this game made me feel like I accomplished something incredible. So yeah, all you champions that came in yesterday and uh, guided me through the mysterious summit that is Rainbow Six Siege, uh, my Sherpas, thank you guys for uh, making my day a lot easier. <laughs> it would have been rough trying to solo queue all day. Before I forget, there's a link in the description. You guys can check out uh, demos of the game or you can check out more info on the game. Uh, and that'll be right there on the top of the description. And I guess I should tell you guys a little bit about what's new in this update if you weren't already informed. You got two new characters, Jackal and Mira, and you got a new map uh, called Coastline, which takes place in Ibiza, Spain. Um, as well as some UI uh, fixes and general tweaks to the game to make it run better. Um, but yeah, Jackal, I'd, I'd have to say if I had to pick between the two, Jackal or Mira, I would pick Jackal. His AR absolutely shredded. And uh, he, had a, he has this really cool special ability where you can track people's footprints on the ground. You see, any, you, you, you click R1. I was playing on PS4, by the way. You click R1. You get to see any uh, uh, footprints that are in the area. You can scan the footprint, and then you can get a readout on that player's location. Uh, and it came in handy a couple times. Mira has this really cool ability to set up a one-way mirror on any surface. Although my teammates correctly inform me it's better to do it on reinforced surface, uh, surfaces. Otherwise, they can just smash the the door open if it's like a wooden door or something like that so the way to do it is to reinforce any kind of wall and then and then put it there not any kind of wall but in a way that's going to benefit you strategically the new map was really pretty and inviting but i didn't really get to play it all that much because it's not like you get a choice of what maps come up in the rotation i was playing all day yesterday i think i only played it a couple times so i first fired up this game a couple nights ago and i tried to solo queue for a little while and i was just getting absolutely stomped and i don't know about you guys i'm I'm really competitive. I'm really competitive, especially when it comes to any kind of game, chess, video games, whatever. And if I can't pick up on a game pretty much right away, then sometimes I get I get so frustrated that I never want to play the game, even if uh, the game is, is good and is beloved and it has a, a, a really big community. I'd say that this game qualifies as such um, for me before. It, it, I, so what did I do? I, I went online, I, I, I fired up Twitch, and I started watching some of the really talented players, people that have obviously been playing this game pretty hardcore since it came out. My god, there was a whole lot more to this game than I thought there was. Just the little things like pulling out a silenced pistol to destroy all the cameras. Um, yeah, this is one of those games that takes repetition, it takes a good crew of people that are going to help you play the game. A little bit better and uh, I, I think it takes a little bit of determination but once you hit that I found like once I crossed this third this certain threshold playing this game where it was no longer impossible for me just to get a kill then all of a sudden it really kind of opened up some uh, opportunities for me to to have fun in the game in a way that I couldn't really do before and all my people that watch my streams regularly you hear me talking to my fellow teammates my umu brethren trying to convince them to play some new games. Help me out. This is my homework assignment. If you guys could help me just bug them a little bit, just to give it a try, just to invest a few hours with me, and I guarantee you they would have fun. And uh, in the in the case that they that they decide that they don't want to play with me, I want you guys to like put me in contact with some other streamers that, that enjoy the game. Because um, this is something that I could see myself getting into. I, I, I am not nearly good enough yet or um, even like decent enough yet to even think about playing this game on a competitive level. So uh, just bearing that in mind, 
it's going to take a little while for me to get to a point where I feel like I can p compete with any of the guys that are that are guys or girls that have been playing this game for a while. Um, so yeah, be patient with me. Give me some suggestions on people to play with. And uh, yeah, bug my Umu brethren to give this a shot with me because this is something that I've been wanting to get into for a while now. So it was pretty easy when they tapped me on the shoulder. They're like, hey, do you want to help me or help us promote the game? I was like, Psh, yeah, I played it. I played it a bunch during the beta and early on during launch. And I really enjoyed myself. And I was basically looking looking for any excuse to get back into it. And it was just really good timing. Another thing that made the decision easy is because this this game kind of like this game is one of those anomalies. It, it ha It's not a total statistical anomaly because it happens sometimes, but this is one of those, I think, rare instances where a game just kind of slowly got bigger and bigger and bigger by word of mouth. And uh, that's really fun for me to watch just sort of as a spectator looking in uh, to see a game find success like that. Uh, I think it's a cool story. So yeah, if you can find some more information on this game if you look in the top of the description box of this video. And if you stick around uh, to the annotation card, it'll take you to a trailer for uh, their year two content. And I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, my coverage of this game so far. Uh, if you guys have any, I mean, it's, obviously I failed a lot in this video. If you guys have any tips you want to give me for how to get better at the game, I'm all ears. I was having people in the chat yesterday just give me kind of real-time tips of how to not totally suck at the game. and uh, They were helping me out a lot. Uh, so, yeah, any, any constructive uh, feedback would be welcome and appreciated. And I hope you guys have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.